check that out. It's from cement. That is amazing. If I just put a little cap on this, I have a forever lasting flashlight. It's a little bulky, but whatever. These are just simple tests so I'm not doing anything too consistently with the size of the plates or anything but I just want to see if they work and if they're in series if they're gonna make any kind of significant successful tests or anything. Check that out. It's from cement. That is amazing. If I just put a little cap on this, I have a forever lasting flashlight. It's a little bulky, but whatever. I'm really wondering how small I can get these cells and it'll still get a, the same charge. I was thinking maybe I could replace this rechargeable battery and just put little smaller cells of the cement battery, put them all, stack them all like that, and then this will replace the this dead battery and I could just slide it in there, get the flashlight to work again. Don't know. Uh, here's the light from that flashlight. So maybe I could try to hook it up to this and just see if it'll light up a little bit. So this is what I decided to do. I was going to take one of these aluminum caps for the tea lights. I was going to put it in there, connected this wire to it. Put it at the bottom of this cap and then I put a groove on the side there so the wire can go on the side. So as I basically mash down on that connection, alright, let's see if that has connection. Just run it up like that and then so we can get solder on the light and the switch. There it is. This is so awesome. So it works. I just got to get it together.
basically all I did was just take this wire, split it in two so I could put the switch in there. That's all I did. So the rest of it's all the same as what I showed you the first test. And I'm just going to string this through positive negative and then I'll have a switch on it. Here's a flashlight that's run on cement and you could build this yourself really fast. You could see my first test and you could see that I just did it simply with the tea light candle things. Put a little bit of cement in there, copper thing on top. Put it all in series, put a little switch in there and it works. So I know this can be improved a lot. And then you could probably use other materials, you could experiment with different ideas. And this could be a lot brighter probably. You could probably get a Joule Thief in there, you could look that up on what that is. Uh, multiplies the volts, or the amperage, or whatever it is. I'm still learning about it, so... But this is the first test in, for this flashlight. And any of you can do this real simply. And you could do your own version of it, I was going to make smaller little cells so that I could possibly fit it in a flashlight like this and then just replace the battery and then just have an everlasting flashlight. I have yet to test on how long this lasts and from what I know it's when you put the load on or the light on it's gonna it's gonna deplete the energy that's in there that's in the cement and and then when you turn it off it recovers on its own and it probably recovers you know pretty close to where it was but it always recovers that's from what I know and you could have a continual light one of my ideas that I had was if you want a, a continual flow you could make two cells like this and then have it run on the one cell in series and then when it depletes down you could switch it over to the other cell and then you could have continual power like that so my other experiment or idea was to have something like this linked up to a battery that for a motorcycle or a car and it'll just keep a charge going to it and then you might have two or three of these and then when this goes down you could switch it over to the other one as the first one was recovering and then just switch back and forth until this thing is charged so I'm just thinking of ideas that you could do on your own immediately you could start right now it'll be simple to do it'll be really cheap and you could just find stuff around your house to use so this is what I want to do for everything I test. I have other things I'm working on that I'm going to test longer term. And we're just going to keep going with this. But all my other tests I'm doing are just tests that you could do right now. But that's pretty cool. Flashlight that just lasts forever. <laughs>